So before we get into blaze racing at Daytona, today is the very last day that you can get an entry in to win my CRF 110. I've talked about it for the past month. If you haven't gotten an entry, every $5 spent gives you one entry on my website. Top link in the description. Don't miss out if you wanna win this dialed in CRF 110. Like I've always said, I'll ship it to you. I'll drive it to you if you're close enough, like I did with my 250F earlier this year. It's got a bunch of hop-up parts from T-Bolt, traction seat, obviously Yosh. Think bigger pegs, shifter, guard, just black out the wheels. The couple of the little hop-up parts. Pretty much everything you would need to do to a 110 if you bought one. Like I said, don't miss out if you want to get this thing, and uh, we'll jump back into Blaze Racing at Daytona. Ooh. All right, so Justin and I just rolled up here late, of course. It's already some problems with Blaze. First moto, wheel blew out, went down. Somebody's, uh, what got caught in your spokes? Foot peg. His foot pegs ripped apart a couple of spokes, and then he hit something, wheel blew out, had to swap it on the mod bike, and now he's going back and forth, had to find a stock wheel, because he can't run a an aftermarket wheel in the stock class, so Blaze is super pumped right now. They're trying to swap it, get a fresh tire on, and his race is in like 10 minutes, so they're scrambling, trying to get this thing together. You're not gonna miss it. Yeah, we're so close. What do you got, 10, 15 minutes? But I don't know, we have like two races. Yeah, okay, we made him drop the tire, he was on. Here. Yeah, she like, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. <laughs> I could probably do that, though. Five minute tire change? I don't think I'd so. I do three. It'd take me like an hour yeah, to change like a rear wheel. No, hour. hour an hour days. to change a tire? Two days. Two days? Yeah, because then I'd pinch the tube and then not have a yeah, tube. He, he It'd be a whole day process. Before he, before he came down. Yeah. Go over in that field over there, you know where we were at one punch? Yeah. yeah. And sit there and do, do a couple quick stuff. Got another one of our races over here. How you feeling? First motos. Feeling How you good. Doing? We're running an 883 mod class today. Mod class? Yep. yep She's yep. been running good. I just want to shout out to my uh, mechanic, me, and the person <laughs> How about your who designed sponsors? the bike. How about me. your sponsors? Look at how bad this wheel is right now. The wheel is smoked. It's all wrapped in, they're all falling out. Another wheel. Two blown out wheels back to back motos. Smoke. Well, I don't want to put Blaze on the spot. Went out for a second moto, as you guys just saw from the past couple clips. And uh, he was battling fourth, about to pass for third. Hit that back jump. I just missed a clip of him actually blowing it out. Slammed down, wheel blew out. Second wheel for the day. First wheel blew out, first moto like I said, and then he had borrowed a wheel from a kid, which that was the wheel that blew out. I just scrambled with the KTM, they built him up another brand new wheel, hopefully that one doesn't blow off for the stock bike, and then for the mod bike, he's gotta put the other wheel back on, so. Ooh. Couple practice starts before his last moto.
going out last moto. Alright, so as you just saw on GoPro, Blaze went down, he's at the medic right now. We don't know what's going on, so he's in there. He's probably gonna be in there a little bit, but we're gonna get his bikes loaded up for him, everything put away. Know what's going on? He did walk off the track, so that's good. But um regardless, we don't know if he broke anything. I will update you when I know something. Alright, so we just got Blaze's uh bikes and stuff loaded up. We're riding now. We're gonna probably go to the hospital, check on him. It might be who knows how long that's gonna take, an hour or two. So we'll go there and see how he's doing. He had a like bulge around his stomach, which wasn't good. So he's going there to get that checked out, get scanned, and see what happens or what's wrong with him. So the next morning here, we got the bikes loaded up. We are ready to head out to Orlando. But as soon as we got in the truck, we checked uh, their Instagram. They said they were open yesterday. This morning, they made another post that they're closed. So we're back at the house. We're unloading the bikes. We're gonna do some bike work. And I guess we'll go, uh, I'll put Blaze on the spot. He's feeling it today. He actually didn't get checked out. He went there and they told him that it was gonna be two or three hours and they got him in there kinda. He's like. I'm not waiting here. And he just got up and left. That's Blaze for you. That's Blaze for you. So anyways, talking on Blaze's thing, he doesn't really want to talk about it. Basically from the GoPro clip, it's hard to tell what was going on. So pretty much he tried to triple that, came down, his bars turned, his hand came off the bars, and then it like gouged him right in the stomach, and then he jumped over that berm, obviously went down there. So basically his hand flew off on like impact, um, kind of coming down on that triple. Because obviously on GoPro, you couldn't really see what's going on because uh, it was on top of the helmet, not the normal like dango chin mount. But uh, I don't think anything broke on the bike. Bike didn't really hit too hard. Maybe a couple bent the levers, tweaked some stuff, but other than that, bike was pretty much good. At least it didn't blow out another rear wheel. So if any companies out there are trying to sponsor Blaze some wheels, 
hit him up on Instagram. I'll put it on the screen because uh, he keeps blowing out these stock KTM wheels. He couldn't run like a aftermarket Warp 9 wheel in a stock class on a stock bike because supposedly uh, different hubs. He can run the wheel but not the hub. According to them, an aftermarket hub could benefit him. It's a little lighter, something like that. I haven't had any problems with the Warp 9s yet, but <clears throat> stock stuff just isn't holding up on these KTMs for Blaze at least. But today, since we couldn't ride, it was kind of just to uh, get the bikes good to go to ride tomorrow. But yeah, with that, if you guys have not gotten an entry in to win my CRF 110, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing, fully coated up. So top link in the description to my website. You can get yourself a fresh new pit bike. So with that, if you guys are new, you want to see more riding videos from this week, make sure you're subscribed, like the video. It helps me out a lot. It helps push the channel, helps push the video. But I appreciate all the people that always like the video before they even watch the video right when they watch it, when I post it. So with that, if you guys want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next.